Hey, what is up, everybody? It is I, so I was coming at you guys with another gameplay commentary of some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Today, you guys are not going to be seeing any one particular gameplay, uh, but rather, today, you guys are actually going to be seeing three different kill streaks that I put together for y'all. Uh, I actually didn't have any time this week to record any more gameplay uh, from the gameplay that I had uh, shown you a couple of days ago. Uh, so instead, I went into my theater mode and recorded a few kill streaks that I got, uh, and I think they're like eight plus at least. I think I'll get a special response at least in every single uh, kill streak. And uh, I thought I'd go ahead and just uh, show that off to you guys uh, to make a quick video for y'all and talk to you guys about a couple of different things. Uh, first and foremost, just want to say this is not actually my clip. This is a clip from my friend by the name of Snowy Dwarf. He was actually over at my house and uh, he was going ham on all or nothing here uh, with his knife, uh, with his throwing knife and his USB tactical knife. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this clip and the two clips that are to follow. So anyways guys, uh, first and foremost, I want to just ask you guys a quick question and talk to y'all about Borderlands 2. Um, Borderlands 2, a lot of people at school have been telling me that I should really get the game and I should, you know, try to make a play through event, yada yada yada, um, but I'm kind of on the fence with it. I do have uh, the pre-order down for Borderlands 2. Uh, you know, I might get Borderlands 2, I might not get Borderlands 2, it just kind of depends on what you guys have to say. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing uh, some kind of Borderlands 2 gameplay, I'll leave a comment in the comment section below because I really want to know, um, because, you know, I don't really know if I should buy it or not yet. Uh, I do have, like, I think $20 pre-ordered on it, you know, I can always go and pull it off of that, but uh, yeah, so in the comment section below, guys, tell me, what do y'all think about Borderlands 2? Is it a good buy? Um, would you guys watch videos? on it if I made videos for that particular gameplay and uh, you know uh, if you guys have any ideas on how to make Borderlands 2 uh, more unique you know please uh, feel free to leave that in the comment section below as well so anyways uh, now that I had those two things out of the way uh, today I want to quickly talk to you guys about the Wii U because uh, the announcement for the Wii U was made about a week or so ago I know I'm kind of late on this but I still want to talk about it anyway um, the announcement for the Wii U came about, uh, you know, or for the pricing of the Wii U, rather. Uh, it came about a week or so ago when they released uh, the two different uh, types of Wii U's that are going to be coming out. There's the uh, regular 8 gigabyte basic Wii U, and then there's the 32 gigabyte deluxe set Wii U. And I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about today. I'll talk to you guys about that today um, because uh, this has kind of been on my mind for the past few days. Um, I noticed that uh, the Wii U, the 8 gigabyte basic Wii U, is going to be coming out at $299, and the 32 gigabyte Wii U is going to be coming out at $300. $49. Um, but the catch is, is not, it's not just the 8 gigabyte or rather the 24 gigabyte difference within the two consoles. Um, I believe that the uh, 8 gigabyte version of the Wii U actually does not come with a sensor bar and I don't think it comes with an HDMI cable as well. Whereas the 32 gigabyte Wii U actually does come with a sensor bar and an HDMI cable. So I find that really interesting how Nintendo is actually going about pricing this. Um, especially whenever uh, there was like a con or a, some kind of article on Kotaku about a few weeks ago where um, they were talking about how the new Xbox 720 or whatever the hell they're going to call it is going to be like two to two hundred fifty dollars, you know, considerably lower uh, than what the PS3, you know, and Xbox initially came out as uh, whenever you know they were first initially released. Um, so you know, I was th I was thinking about that and I was like, all right, Nintendo, what are you guys going for? You know, knowing that probably whenever the new Xbox comes out, when the new PS3 comes out, they're probably going to be relatively cheaper uh, than what you guys, are, uh, you know, y'all selling point. What do you guys think? Um, is going to happen with the Wii U. Um, I don't really like the fact that they're pricing it at $350 for the 32 gigabyte Wii U, um, especially when I can get like a PS3 that's like freaking 120 gigabytes for $300. Um, I, I know, you know, the PS3 has been out for a while and everything, but um, I think the other thing that I also realized was is that uh, they're not also, they're not selling like individual controllers, uh, you know, on the market just yet. Uh, the president and uh, the president of uh, Nintendo, Nintendo of America, he was actually talking about how uh, the Wii U controller, you know, there's not any launch titles that, you know, would utilize a second Wii U controller, um, but they are willing to replace your Wii U controller if something happens to it for like a hundred bucks or something. I, that's a rumor right now. I heard that from a friend of mine in school, so I'm not really sure. I haven't done my research on that, um, but uh, I want to know, what do you guys have to think about the whole Wii U and its selling point? You know, $350 for the uh, 32 gigabyte deluxe edition, um, and you don't get a basic uh, Wii U sensor bar in the 8 gigabyte version, or so I presume. So I want to know, what do you guys have to think? about the Wii U? Do you guys think that the pricing on the Wii U is kind of overpriced or do you guys think that it is a, a logical pricing option right now considering that they do have like the uh, second screen on your Wii remote and you know you can play with that and also play on your TV screen you know which kind of sort of uh, makes sense you know whenever you're thinking about money and everything like that. But anyways guys uh, thank you for watching this commentary like I said uh, I want to know what you got to say about the Wii U so leave a comment in the comment section below I'm interested to hear what you all have to say and I'll go ahead and jump in the comments whenever this video gets posted. So anyways guys thank you for watching make sure to comment rate and and subscribe make sure to check out my twitter for all my updates and i will see you guys later peace out guys